Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Making Something From Nothing. Uh, I've been noticing lately that a lot of people are interested in the metal casting and they're just getting into it. So I thought, you know, since I had to start somewhere when I was learning, I figured I'd give back and make a video of exactly what's involved from start to finish on one of these casting projects. So we're going to do a fun casting project. I've always needed a third hand over here in the shop to do soldering, so I decided to go ahead and cast me up a nice base and go ahead and make one. And that's why we metal cast, is to make something we need. So I'd like to invite you to stick around and watch the video. I've tried to be as detailed as possible uh, without being boring with it. So I think you'll enjoy it. Gives you all the steps start to finish on doing a casting as well as how to finish it and turn it into a finished product. So stick around. So we're going to go ahead and use this here. Some copper wire and two alligator clips. And I know I could go out and buy one but they're like nineteen twenty nine dollars and this channel is about making something from nothing so let's do that well alrighty then let's get the show on the road eh Well here I'm putting powder down to keep the sand from sticking to the table and putting powder on the pattern to keep the sand from sticking to the pattern. And now I'm going to put on some facing sand and that needs to be sifted so you get a nice surface finish on the casting. And that only needs to be done on the pattern itself. And just fill it up with the chunky stuff afterwards. And I do apologize about the background noise on some of these clips, but it's unavoidable. It was just too hot. I had to run the fan today. So here we're compacting the rest of the sand and going to strike it off. And... A little stubborn spot is going to give me trouble here. Took me three tries. Eventually got her done. Okay, now it's time to ram up the top half of the mold, so I went ahead and tossed on powder. This thin tube is going to be my vent to allow the gases to escape. The thicker tube is where I'm going to be pouring the metal in. So I'm just compacting all the sand. And I eventually got tired of mucking around with it. And pulled the tubes out. Done deal.
and a little bit of cleanup before I continue here. Okay, in this clip, I'm cleaning out the area around where the sprue comes in, that's where you pour the metal. And I'm preparing to go ahead and cut the gate to run over to the pattern. And this is where the metal is going to flow to fill up uh, my little void in the sand there. So I'm just going to smooth it out, make sure there's no loose sand. And now I'm tapping on the pattern to go ahead and kind of release it a little bit and I have a screw in there that I'm tapping madly so I could pull this thing out and blowing off a little extra sand and time to put the coat back onto the drag I'm gonna prepare me a little pour cup Give me a larger target to hit when I'm pouring the metal. And we're pretty much ready to cast some metal. Time to light the furnace.
Well, in these series of clips, I'm just taking the angle grinder with a uh, 60 grit flap disc and just taking off the extra metal along the edges. It's called flashing. And some required some more aggressive action, so I moved over to the angle or the uh, bench grinder. Take a little bit off. Come back to the angle grinder. In this series of clips, I'm just uh, taking my copper wire and attaching alligator clips to it for my third hand. And of course, I'm using the vise as my third hand right now. And soldering is not my best quality, so I do my best. Some things I'm better at, some things I'm not. Soldering is one of them. Well, I was originally going to use JB Weld on this project to go ahead and secure these copper wires in. But for the sake of the video, I went ahead and used the 5 minute epoxy. But I don't know about y'all, but I have terrible experience with that stuff. It never seems to want to hold, and it's very brittle. So, to make a long story short, uh, off camera, I went ahead and secured these wires in yesterday with JB Weld and it worked real good. Uh, that five minute epoxy seems to stay on as long as a bra during Mardi Gras, which ain't very long. And here's a better look at it now that it's finished. Well, as you can see, we have a viable third hand, so the whole project turned out to be a success. Well, I wanted to thank you for making something from nothing, for taking your time to watch the casting lesson. The project turned out really good, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I appreciate uh, all the new comments and subscribers lately. Anytime you leave a comment, I'm going to go ahead and reply to it. So feel free to leave comments on my videos. Share these around to friends and family that may find this stuff interesting. If you have Twitter accounts or social media, I personally don't do Facebook or Twitter, not at this point. So uh, any help you can give me by sharing these videos around, I'd appreciate it. And thanks for watching. And most importantly, if you enjoy making something from nothing, subscribe to the channel. Just click the button down below and be notified of future videos that I put out.